Let's mount a mirrorless camera on a gun. Let's start with a quick look at everything you're gonna need. Your camera, a wide angle non-distortion lens, probably a lens filter, some friction arms, and some super clamps. Links to everything will be in the description below. Now let's make this weapon safe. This one is only a BB gun, but nonetheless, we are gonna make it safe anyway. It is CO2 powered, and I will also put the link to this down below. My favorite and possibly the best super wide angle non-distortion lens is this Laowa 9mm and I do want to run a circular polarizer on it. Now we're going to put it in the cage because we're going to need at least three mounting points so we're going to cage the camera. Now let's get our super clamps ready. These ones I selected because they have multiple mounting points and they open pretty wide as well and we're going to need some friction arms. For my set, I have two shorts and two longs because at any point in time, I'm going to need a combination of those. Line up where you want your camera to be for the shot that you want. Now let's grab our clamp, find a good spot on the firearm to place our first clamp. Mounting rails on these sort of AR style guns is perfect because it's made to mount things onto them. Pro tip, in order to avoid having to fight with the rings coming loose on the mounting spots of the friction arm, tighten it down and now back tighten the rings on your mounting points loosen everything back up and you shouldn't have to fight this position your camera where you want it to look find a good mounting point on the cage and go ahead and tighten that down but don't tighten down the friction arm yet we still need some flexibility here find your second mounting point and decide where you're going to link the clamp to the cage now tighten down that friction arm to the second mounting clamp and find the ideal position on your cage for that one at this point we're gonna go ahead and get it where we want it to be and crank everything down. Tighten down your friction arms nice and snug, as snug as you can get it without causing damage or stripping out the aluminum. And then also go back and double check the tightening of your clamps. The tighter this is without causing damage, the more stable it's going to be. Do a basic function check on the firearm and make sure it is still operable as everything is mounted. You haven't clamped something in a weird spot that's binding it during the operation of the firearm. And now we're gonna find our third clamping point. This is the most important thing that most people are, are going to probably cheap out on or try and skip. This third mounting point is essentially the kingpin of what makes this so stable and locked off like a super cinematic GoPro that you're going to see in the movies. Do not skip that third mounting point. Let's go ahead and predetermine where we want to manual focus this lens and then set up your camera settings as best as you can while you're on the table. Turn off IBIS. You do not want IBIS active. You want this to be locked off to the camera just like with my Haggerty rig. And a bonus that you guys can do is to go into Topaz Video AI. So I'm gonna upscale from 1080p because I've shot at super high speed 1080p. And then I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna turn on stabilization only to 10%. I don't want it to get floaty, but I do want to activate that rolling shutter correction. I'm gonna export it as H265 main 10, which maintains my 10 bit quality. And now take a look at the difference. The main thing you're gonna be seeing is the rolling shutter reduction. And yes, you can mount this to wooden stock. Just be super careful that it's not going to slip off and super careful that you're not going to actually damage the stock or the forend. Also, please don't mount this to the barrel. That's probably the second dumbest thing you could do. Just be safe and mindful of everything that's going to happen whenever this thing starts firing, the way it operates, the way you can safely operate it. Don't put anything in a compromised position, whether it's the firearm or the safety on set. Even with shooting blanks or a BB gun, you have to pay attention when you're doing this stuff. Tell me down below what you want me to try to attach a camera to next and I'll do it. A side-by-side -side or ATV is already on the list. You can, no, don't even have to worry about that one. So there you go, guys. Short, sweet, and to the point of how to get the Hollywood locked off to the gun look. Thank you guys so much. Links are in the description. Subscribe because I'm going to keep pumping out this high-quality content for you all. Thank you again and y'all have a great day.